Hey guys, it's time for another SpongeBob book. I, like I said last time, I've been getting requests. So I'm going to read a couple SpongeBob books this week. So here is our second one. The art contest, no cheating allowed. That's definitely always a good policy. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe some of you guys have seen this one, but it's a cute one. I am an artist, so I definitely wouldn't want cheating either. Let's see. This is a 3.1 accelerated reading level story. Art contest, the Bikini Bottom Art Society. The Bikini Bottom Art Society was having an art contest and first prize was a membership to their fancy club. If I could be in that club, maybe working at the Krusty Krab won't be seem as hopeless, Squidward said, sighing. <gasps> Squidward went to the Art Society building to enter the contest. There he saw Squillum Fancyson, oh, his old rival. Good luck, Squidward, you'll need it. I've seen your paintings and I'm one of the judges, said Squillum. I've got to paint the greatest painting of my life, said Squidward. He painted 17 paintings, but they were all awful. I'll never win the contest with these, he said, moaning. Those are awesome. Squidward heard SpongeBob humming outside, so he leaned out his window. Hey, he shouted, keep it down. I'm trying to paint. Sorry, Squidward, said SpongeBob. I'm just drawing some pictures in the sand. Squidward couldn't believe his eyes. SpongeBob's sand pictures were amazing. Um, hello there, SpongeBob, said Squidward. How about you paint me a picture? A picture for me sometime, like today. Really? asked an excited SpongeBob. Sure, replied Squidward. I have a big hole in one of my walls and I could cover it up with one of your paintings. I love his big eyes. By the way, you're not entering the Bikini, Bikini Bottom Art Society contest, are you? asked Squidward as they walked towards Spongebob's house. What contest? asked Spongebob. Nothing. Never mind, said Squidward. Gary, said Spongebob. I get to do a painting for Squidward. Isn't that great? Meow, said Gary. Spongebob got ready to paint. I sure hope I can paint something that Squidward likes enough to cover up the hole in his wall. SpongeBob painted all night. The next morning, Squidward came to pick out a painting. Will any of these do? Asked an ex exhausted SpongeBob. Um, these are all famous paintings that they turned into SpongeBob paintings. That's supposed to be the Mona Lisa. Jackson Pollock. I guess I could use this one, said, Squ Spon said Squidward, choosing a painting. This will definitely win me first place. Uh, I mean, this will definitely cover up the hole on my wall. Squidward grabbed the painting and hurried home. Hmm, now just to put my name on the painting and everyone will think I did it. Squidward clapped his tentacles together. I can't wait to see the look on Squillum's face when he hands me first prize. Squidward showed SpongeBob's painting to Squillum and the other judges. This can't be your painting, cried Squillum. It's too good. I know, replied Squidward. I never thought I'd say this, but first prize goes to Squidward Tentacle, said Squillum, handing Squidward a Bikini Bottom Art Society membership card. Just then, SpongeBob came into the room. Hey, Squidward, he said. I saw a flyer for this art contest, and I thought I'd check it out. Did you know there was a contest today? Uh, no, I didn't, said Squidward, trying to hide SpongeBob's painting. Huh? 
That painting behind you looks just like the painting I did, said SpongeBob. Squidward shook his head. No, it's not. It's a completely different painting. Ah, Squidward, you entered my painting into the contest. How sweet, said SpongeBob. Is this true, Squidward? A hopeful Squillum asked. But why did you paint your initials over mine, asked SpongeBob, confused. Squillum took a wet cloth to the painting and erased Squidward's initials to reveal SpongeBob's initials underneath it. I knew it, Squillum squealed. I knew Squidward couldn't paint anything that good. He took away Squidward's membership card and tore it up. I'm sorry, cried Squidward. I just wanted to be in your club so badly. Squidward turned to SpongeBob. I'm sorry I tried to pass off your painting as my own. That's okay, Squidward. I forgive you, said SpongeBob. Squillum held up one of his own paintings. You have to paint like me if you want to be in this club, Squidward, he said. Just then a young man walked in. Uh, Mr. Fancy Sun, sir, said the man, interrupting. I just finished painting that other painting for you. You weren't at home, so I decided to drop it off here. Hope that's okay, he said. What? You don't paint your own paintings either, exclaimed Squidward. Squillum gulped. Uh, I just remembered. I have to go somewhere. He ran away as fast as he could. I have a confession to make, said one of the other judges. I don't paint my paintings either. In fact, I found the one that got me into this club in a garbage can, he admitted. My mother painted mine, confessed a contestant. Finally, the truth comes out. Not one of the judges or contestants had painted a single painting. It looks like no one can belong to the Bikini Bottom Art Society except for SpongeBob SquarePants, said Squidward. But I don't want to be the only person in the club, said SpongeBob. I have an idea. Let's start a new club that everyone can be in. But what should it be? Everyone was silent while SpongeBob tried to come up with a new club. I know, he suddenly cried. We'll call it the Bee Bikini Bottom Bubble Blowing Society. And that's what they did. The end.